is up everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing well today as you guys can tell by today's video title today's video is another makeup related one which i'm really excited about because in this video we're going to be trying out the world's most beautiful products that you can find on the internet i'm talking products that have super beautiful or cute packaging that just look like they're way too good to be real so for today's video i picked up a bunch of these products from the internet and together we're going to be seeing whether they're anything like the photos online and and whether the actual product inside is worth the money. If you guys are new here and you guys haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Roxy, welcome to my channel. If you guys wanna stick around, be sure to subscribe down below. But without further ado, if you guys wanna see what products I picked up for this video, then let's get into it. All right, guys, so the very first product we're gonna be trying out is this one right here. And as you guys can see, it's an eyebrow product. In the picture on AliExpress, it looked really promising. The strokes looked so realistic, and I feel like it's gonna be quite a watery base kind of eyebrow product. It was $2.99 and this is it right here. The packaging is so freaking cute. It's got a tiny little teddy bear on it and it appears that this is from a brand called Bia. I guess let's crack it open. I'm actually in dire need of a new eyebrow product. I've just run out so I hope this is gonna be the one. Oh wow, it's really cute. It's got the same packaging on the cap as it did on the box. Now for the tip. <gasps> Wow, that is so thin. I mean, look how thin that tip is. This is looking promising. I purposefully left my eyebrows undone. I'm just gonna brush them through real quick and then we're gonna test out the product together. I guess I'm gonna start with the front of my brows and see if this is any good. Ooh, it's very thin and very precise as you guys can see. Wow, I feel like I've been able to really fill in that front of my brow without making it look really blocky and just really fake looking. Okay, I'm genuinely in love with this eyebrow pencil. It's very like soft, it's not too full. I'm obsessed with the color shade. It matches my eyebrows perfectly without looking too fake. It's a very soft formula, meaning that it's not like really harsh in in the first kind of stroke. You can definitely build it up as you can see, but yeah, I'm really liking the look of it so far. So let's do the actual arch as well now. Okay, so that is my brows finished. Honestly, I have to say, I'm literally obsessed with this product. It works so well. I just really hope it doesn't dry out super quick. It does seem to be quite like a wet formula. So who knows how long lasting this one pen will actually be. But first impressions, I am very impressed with how my brows look. All right, now moving on to the next product, we're gonna be trying out this blusher right here. As you guys can see, it's a total knockoff of the Rare Beauty blusher, which I have tried and I do really like it. This product, however, was £3.58, so definitely a lot cheaper than the Rare Beauty one. This is what the packaging looks like. It comes from a brand called Key Best. As you can see, the cap is exactly the same as the Rare Beauty one. It is really, really uncanny. Let's take a look at the color. I went for the brightest pink one I could find because I've been really loving a really bright Barbie kind of blusher lately. Here is a swatch of the blush. Ooh. Ooh, it's very creamy. Wow. It has like a pleasant vanilla kind of scent, but yeah, I really, really like that shade. I guess what I'll do is I'll just apply a little bit on each cheek. I don't want to go too crazy. And I'm just going to pat that product in with my finger. It blends very beautifully, actually. I'm very surprised. Wow, look how pretty this color is. I'm actually obsessed. I think I went a little bit ham on this side. I'm gonna have to like blend it away. All right, so that is the blusher. I might have overdone it just a little bit, but honestly, I'm obsessed with the color. I absolutely love how well it blended out. And as you can see, it's pretty pigmented. A tiny bit of this literally goes such a long way. For three pounds, I feel like you get quite a large product with a lot of the blusher inside. So I'm gonna give this one a big thumbs up. Moving on to the next product, we're now gonna be trying out a really stunning highlighter. And I literally fell in love with this when I saw it on the website. This product was a little bit more expensive. It was seven pounds in total but I feel like because of the packaging it kind of justifies it. This is from a brand called Mac Andy and as you can see the packaging itself definitely looks and feels a lot more premium. Let's crack it open. <gasps> Wow, look at that. That packaging is absolutely stunning. Are you kidding? Let's open it together. Oh, can't get into it. What is wrong with this? Ah, here we go. Okay. <gasps> Wow! 
This is stunning. I really expected this product to be very clickbait and just nothing like it when it actually arrives at your house, but it looks exactly like the photos. I cannot wait to swatch it. So the idea is you kind of just like take a brush and swirl it all inside at once and it's supposed to merge it into one amazing highlighter shade. Although it's picked up a lot of the orange and I don't know if that really would be perfect for a highlighter. Maybe this is more of like a shimmery blush. You could obviously try and avoid the orange area and use that as a blush or an eyeshadow. I mean, personally, I'm a little bit concerned about how much orange I picked up on this brush, but let's just try and apply it like onto the cheek, kind of over the blusher we just applied. Ooh, okay, that's actually really stunning. Let's do the same on the other side. I'm kind of placing it sort of on the highest point of my cheek, but also trying to blend it into the actual blusher. It is very sparkly, but the actual sparkle is pretty finely milled. I'm gonna try and pick up a little bit more of this lighter highlighter shade now to actually use on top of my cheekbones. This is very shimmery. Let's just apply it. Oh my goodness, look at that. I feel like this highlighter literally would have been perfect for that era where everybody wanted to look like a glazed donut. I'm also gonna highlight my nose with this highlighter. That is very strong. Okay, I feel like you can totally see this highlighter from outer space, so I'm really liking it. I'm gonna give this one a big thumbs up as well. Now moving on to the next product we're gonna be trying out is this one right here. And oh my gosh, I just had to try this next because it is the cutest. I've ever seen. Normally I wouldn't apply lip product next. I'd normally do my eyes first, but we're gonna change things around because I need to show you guys this product first. This is called the Heng Fang Boo Boo Milk Rabbit Lip Mud. Are you seeing this? This is literally everything. Guys, guess how much this was? This was only £6.40, which is just crazy to me considering you literally get four different lipsticks in here and they have the cutest packaging ever. I'm just interested to see what the shades are like. Oh my gosh, my heart. How adorable are these? They're actually like three dimensional on the lipstick. It's so cute. I feel like we're of course gonna go for this one first because it matches my outfit. Ooh, it's a red one. I did not expect that. Look at that, that is a stunning red. I'm just gonna swatch that on my hand. This is the red. That is really pretty. The formula is so creamy, you guys. I can't wait to try this on my lips. Next up we have the purple one. The purple one is also red. Is this a different shade? To be honest though, they look almost identical to me. Next we have the pink one. Let's see what shade this will be. It's definitely darker and a little bit more purple. And then the last one we have is the brown one. Ooh, this is like a burnt orange one. I like it. I guess seeing as it's almost Halloween, I'm gonna go for the burnt orange one, but I'm gonna line my lips first. All right, so now that my lips aligned. I'm gonna take the orangey one and just apply this straight to my lips. Oh my gosh, this is so creamy. It is stunning. Look at that color. This kind of smells like coffee. Seriously, my lips were so dry before I applied this and now they feel so moisturized. This formula is amazing. Honestly, I feel like this could be the best product of the video so far. I am loving it and they're so adorable. I'm gonna give this product an 11 out out of 10. All right, now the next product we're gonna be trying out is actually an eyeshadow. I saw it in this listing right here and it just looked so freaking magical. As you can see in the photo, it kind of has like a two-tone, so it goes from pink to gold depending on how the light hits it. This single shadow was £3.38 and when it arrived, it came like this. It literally came in this tiny little bag. It doesn't even have like a professional packaging whatsoever, so it's looking a little bit sketchy to me. I mean, look at this. This is literally all that has arrived. There's a tiny bit of the powder in there. It's not an awful lot, but I feel like the second I open it, it's gonna go everywhere. Can you guys see that? It is actually pretty cool. It definitely has that dual chrome sort of shade to it. Now I'm not entirely sure if this shadow will go with the look that I currently have on. So I'm just gonna swatch it on my hand. I hope that's okay with you guys. So here is the swatch. I mean, it's looking gorgeous. I'm just applying it with a brush, but of course you could apply it with your finger as well. I just felt like with a brush, there would be a lot less mess seeing as the 
this is a loose pigment. So it's literally going everywhere as we speak. It looks freaking magical. Honestly, I don't know how they make shadows like this, but it is so cool. I definitely want literally every shade combination they have of this so that I could use it in loads of different looks. Let me know what you guys think of this. Would you ever use a shadow like this? I think on the scale of one to 10, this definitely deserves at least a nine. All right, now moving on to the next product, we're gonna be trying out this one right here. Once again, I am so excited. It just looks so mesmerizing in the photos. It is a pearlescent eyeshadow stick that basically has like a glitter sort of eyeshadow element to it. It was £2.50 and it came like this. Here is the product. It comes in like a really cool rose gold kind of packaging. So this is the actual product. It comes in like a really cool shape to make it easy to apply to your eyes. I guess let's give it a good old swatchy swatch. Hmm. It's a little bit stiff, like the formula, but once you kind of heat it up, it does get it going. It doesn't look as prominent as it did in the photos, but maybe I just need to apply more. Formula-wise, it's very waxy. I guess let's just go straight into applying it to the eyes. Ooh, actually it applies a lot better to the eyes than it did on my hand. I'm not really sure why, but that's looking pretty nice, right? I'm just gonna go all the way into the inner corner. I actually really like the shape of this applicator and I'm gonna do the exact same on the other side. I'm also going to apply a little bit to the brow bone as well. All right, so that is the glitter kind of eyeshadow on. Do I think it looks like the photos? Not entirely. I mean, it's very pretty, but it's nowhere near as like bright and prominent as it was in the listing. The formula is quite waxy. It's not really buildable. It kind of just smears all over the place. So I'm gonna give this probably like a two out of 10. I'm not really a fan. I'm now gonna apply some eyeliner. I'm just using my Tarte Shape Tape Felt Tip Liner for this. And I'm just gonna do a really basic wing. All right, now moving on to the next product. We're gonna be trying out this right here. And I'm so excited because I've never tried a product like this before. They call this the ultra thin two tip fork liquid felt tip liner but it's actually meant not for like a regular eyeliner like this but it's meant for your lower lashes so that you can draw on your lower lashes i honestly feel like that is so genius my lower lashes are not the best by any means so i'm really excited to give this product a shot as you can see it's a japanese product this is what the tip's supposed to look like it's just a little gray kind of eyeliner this is what it looks like let's take a look at the actual tip. <gasps> wow, it is super thin. Look at that. That is so cool. Honestly, I cannot wait to try this out. I'm also a little bit nervous that I'm gonna mess up this whole look, but let's just try it. Okay, that is my best attempt. Does it even look realistic? I feel like it does. It looks quite real. I mean, look at the difference between the two eyes. I've got actual like under eye lashes here, but here I've got nothing. I'm just gonna repeat the same thing to the other side. Okay, I feel like I definitely need a little bit more practice with this product, but it's looking pretty good. I'm now just gonna curl my top lashes and then apply some mascara to finish off the eyes. All right, so now that my eyes are finished, we're now gonna move on to the very last product of today's video, and it is actually another lipstick. That is kind of another reason why I applied the lipstick so early on in the video. It's because I wanted to wear this throughout the video, but then try out another one towards the end. So we're now gonna be sadly taking this one off. The lipstick we're now gonna be trying out is this right here and oh my gosh can we just take a moment for that packaging it is stunning this lipstick was only five pounds like can you believe it considering the packaging is so cool I have the product right here this is the kind of packaging that it has arrived in it is so cool it's like holographic it opens up like this and this is the lipstick inside I mean how was this five pounds I have no idea I mean look at it it is so 
so gorgeous. Wow, it even comes on a chain. You could wear this as a necklace if you wanted to. This is 100% a dupe for the Louboutin lipsticks, which also come in like this vile kind of pendant shape. The thing that's really interesting about this lipstick is the fact that it is black. Look how cool this lipstick is. It's literally perfect for Halloween right now. But the even cooler thing about it is not even the fact that it's black, but it's actually the fact that in the tube it's black, but once it's applied to the skin, it's supposed to change color. I'm sorry, but I've got to try this out right now. Let's do a little swatch on my hand. Are you actually kidding? How does it go from this dark to this light? This is such a cool lipstick. I guess I'm gonna take this one off now and apply this on and see what the shade is like on my lips. All right, so I've removed my lipstick. I've kept the lip liner on and we're just gonna apply this straight over. So let's give it a go. Here we go. <gasps> wow. It is so red. Okay, okay. This is the shade of that black lipstick. And honestly, I am obsessed with this. The formula is so creamy. I literally love it so much. It's very moisturizing. It was so pigmented with literally just one swipe of the lipstick. So I'm very impressed with the formula. As you guys know, I don't normally wear red lipstick. So I probably won't get as much use out of this as I would have loved to. If this was any other shade, like a neutral color, maybe a light pink, I would have totally loved it way more. So I'm probably gonna end up gifting this to one of my family members. However, I absolutely love the packaging. The lipstick is top notch. So I'm gonna give this a 9 out of 10. Alright guys, so that was everything for today's video of me trying out the most stunning and beautiful makeup products that I found on the internet. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it entertaining. Let me know in the comments as usual which product was your favorite. I feel like for me it's a no-brainer. The most beautiful product is definitely this one. I just find it so adorable. The tiny little bunnies are just so cute. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you smash that huge thumbs up down below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And also, if you haven't seen the first part of this kind of like series where I tested more beautiful products, I'll link it in the eye so you guys can watch it next. But that is all from me. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching this video. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Mwah.